Today I have a pretty fun project. Um, I bought these uh, talking push buttons from Amazon um, that Hezzy can push. But when I bought them and I got them in, uh, it turned out that these are a little hard for him to push. Um, like for me, it's fine. But for him, it's the amount of pressure to get it to activate is just hard. So Hello. it requires a fairly Hello. intentional push to activate. Uh, what I found out is, well, I took one apart and found this little cushion foam inside, which is part of the pushing action, which causes that tension when you push. Uh, but if you take this out, it becomes much easier to push. Like, so this is one I've already modified. Yeah. And I know it's hard to sh illustrate it, but it is like 10 times easier to push. There's a little bit of a feedback. You can kind of hear it. Yeah. Makes a little poppy sound. Yeah. Oh, what's nice about this is that you can push it from all corners. Yeah. Yeah. Very lightly and it works. But this one, same amount of force, no activation. Same amount of force, no activation. Yeah. So once you take out the foam, uh, it becomes much easier for someone with like our son uh, cerebral palsy to activate. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first thing is having a dish is very handy. Uh, there are small screws and I put them in there so we don't lose them. And then a very small, uh, screwdriver. Um, it's important to get one that's the right size so you don't strip the screws. So flipping it over, there's four little feet, but if you, if you take off the little foot pads, hello. Whoop, that's gonna get annoying. I need, well, actually <laughs> take the battery out first. So four feet takes a little bit of effort. Just pull them off. Put them in the little dish so you don't lose them. Uh, if it's really hard to get out, you might get some pliers, but I have fingernails and it just takes a little bit of finagling. All right, so with all the four feet out, you can see there's four screws in there. So just take them out. Uh, so that's what it looks like on the inside. And again, those little screws. Don't want to lose those. Two of them are. Whoop. So this is the foam you want to take out. It's as simple as that. Take out the foam. Get rid of it. Um, and when putting it back together, and before I do that, just to explain. So this little point is what's activating this little button here. Uh, when putting this particular one back together, notice that the screws locations do matter. Um, these two are farther apart and these two are close together. So it, the easiest way to tell is there's a little notch right here and there's a little notch right in there. So this notch has to touch that. Otherwise, you know, if you, if you do it like this, it's not going to go back together. It has to go back in this particular way. And uh, make sure you line up the holes. If it's lined up, if the notches are aligned, it will um, go back in completely flush. And then it's as simple as just Putting it all back together. Trying not to uh, strip the screws. They are small screws. Sometimes it's hard to get a good grip on them. I put the little feet back on. Hello? 
much easier. Hello? Significantly Hello? easier to Hello? push. All right, there we have it. Four push buttons, all very easy to push.